Hello and welcome back to day number 45 of my road to 200 kg total. Now for today, it's a snatch day, so it's going to be a snatch plus two overhead squat. So again, something that I'm very much used to. I love doing volumes for squats, even though I just said a few two weeks ago that the triples were absolutely horrible. But uh, again, it's really easy to put in a lot of volume for the snatch rather than the like let's say the clean and jerk accumulating volume for that is just way too much at least in my case and followed followed by after that exercise it's followed with some front squats so it's a three by three 105 kilos for the front squats again if you've been watching this this channel and this playlist for a while then you know that front squats are more my forte I can really go I can go pretty deep in the front squat as compared to like the back squat because my lev my levers are a lot more suited for the front squat rather than the back squat so there's that <clears throat> anyways here's the typical warm-up so again I start off with my banded activations followed by my favorite bar warm-up at this point, it's pretty much routine. I pick up the bar and I already, I automatically know what I'm supposed to do. I think the difference though, if you've already read the title for this, assuming I don't change it, is that I'm doing this workout the day after I got my second dose for my vaccine against the COVID-19 virus. And if I'm being very honest, the side effects weren't that great. I didn't have that much of a side effect, it was mostly just pain in my right arm, but I think that's mostly from the actual injection rather than the vaccine itself. So, well, that's not really that fair to say, considering I sl pretty much slept the entire day yesterday after I got the vaccine. And when I woke up at night, I just all I did was have my dinner and then immediately go back to sleep. Yeah. Anyways. As I was warming up, it actually didn't affect me all that much. I, sorry, it didn't bother me that much, the tension of my shoulder. So, if that would be an issue, apparently it's not. And if you're still here at this point, please, 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 I swear to God, get vaccinated, my people. I need to go out. I, I miss going out. And also, again, common decency for other people. Don't be an asshole. Anyways, yep, <laughs> enough of that rant regarding that. Alright, for the snatch warm up, starting off with the snatch pulls. If you notice, my stance is pretty a lot wider than usual. Uh, again, still, even though I said that I found my, st my stance with a wider, uh, with a wider, sorry, with a closer uh, feet, I found that. It's that the toes going up is a lot more egregious with my feet that close together. So I had to make some adjustments because, again, you want that. For a powerful drive, you need to really connect with the floor and have that power, that the full foot on the floor so that you can, so that the force transfer from the floor through your legs is complete. And it's a lot of people say it's for the balance. No, I'm pulling that one out of out of nowhere. But yeah, basically you just want that full f you want that full foot on the floor when you're doing a snatch or the clean, so that the transfer of energy is a lot better. All right, so this is the first working set. It's pretty light though, 50 kilos. This is, this was nothing, so I was really focusing a lot on the pull under a finishing the extension as well as having that fast pull under yep as usual for a set not my best looking set these get and I usually get better as the sets go go along so let's watch the second set there we go much better and really getting that depth on that overhead squat third set with the wider stance. 
perfect there. Uh, something that I've been also fixing is that I have that pause in between the first and second pull. Sorry, I have a pause during the second pull when I purposely start the acceleration. No, I'm really just focusing on keeping the transition smooth. Boom, there we go. That was beautiful. Beautiful rep. Beautiful rep. Again, it's lightweight. It's the technique definitely will break down when I reach maximal weight, so that would be at the 70 kilo mark. Well, anyways, moving on to the front squats. Front squats again feel great. My legs always feel great doing front squats. So. Surprisingly, not that fatigued from the three. Oh no, was it? Yeah, it was also three by three for my back squat. Oh, that's weird. Anyways, I'm fairly certain I got that wrong. I, I probably did 5x3. I don't really remember that much. I just remember the weight. So that was 125. This one is now 105. Which is actually quite... Which is usually the... How my front squat and back squat ratio goes. My back squat is usually between 15 to 20 kilos above my front squat. But the, with the exception that my front squat looks a lot better than my back squat. So that was the... So this is the working weight at 105. I think when I attempt another clean at this weight, I'm fairly certain it's gonna be an easy stand. I'm just gonna have to be wary of crashing or getting pinned under the bar. Because again, when you pull off the floor, that gives... I really don't have that much of a confident pull off the floor. And I think that has to do more with... I, I tend to pull higher then pull under so yeah that's where the crashing happens if you guys remember my 105 kilo pr a few weeks ago anyways and, and ending it with some shoulder press and pendley rows again i thought with the, with the vaccination that my shoulder will, was not going to be up for it but surprisingly they are and yep, that's pretty much it for today's video. Hope you guys liked it and peace.